Now, we are going to hack this Nintendo Mega Drive. Very simple. You can add as many games as you want, but from what I know, it's only really about 30, 40 of them are pretty good after the initial 30 that you get with this. So let's get to it. All right, the first thing we're going to want to do is download Hackchi. Uh, just go ahead and Google that. Uh, the newest version is, what, 2.3.1. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I've already downloaded this. Uh, I've also downloaded, downloaded uh, RetroArch, so the Hackchi and the RetroArch you're going to need, and also you're going to need a source for games. So, the easiest way is NES ROMs download, okay, NES ROMs download, we'll go with that. And it's just going to pull up pretty much anywhere. So, Game Emulator had uh, some good ones here. I've, I've been to a couple different sites, and some of the games actually work. Some of them don't. But uh, Game Emulator and ROMs Mania seem to be the two that gave me the uh, best option for games. So, we're going to go ahead and go into this. Now, see, here's the list of all the games here. Now, you download whichever ones you want, or you can download this in its entirety. Then, I'm going to pull up Hackchi here for you. Okay. Now, prior to this, uh, it's going to ask you which system you have. Um, actually, I have the NES. So, this is the list of games. What you're going to, they're going to ask you to pick the games you want which we have, then we're going to ask you to go to kernel. You're going to want to dump the kernel. Okay. I already dumped the kernel. I don't need to do it again, but dump the kernel and save it uh, actually on your desktop. And that'll give you ability to go back to the factory state of just 30 games if need be. So we clicked all the games that we want. Up here, original games. We got 1942, Bad Dudes, Mega Man, Captain America, and the Avengers, DuckTales. So anyway, it's going to go here. And let's go ahead and add more games so I can kind of show you this. Okay, so Championship Wrestling, Guerrilla War, all this. You can just pick one. And it will go over into this side then you go to on the bottom it says synchronize selected games it's going to give you this you're supposed to plug everything in and if the driver has been installed you can use that so let me go ahead and plug everything up get my power cords in this is saying just hook everything in hook it into your nes Go ahead and turn your NES on, and this should automatically start to work. Uh, you can press this. Maybe the first time you do it, you might need to install the driver, but usually once you turn it on, there we go. Didn't touch anything. Building the folder, uploading the games. Bam. That simple. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, see how this worked out. I did not now. It does give you the option to... If you left click download box art for selected games I have been trying to do this the entire time that uh, I've had it and it basically has not found any cover art for anything so basically my games just have this icon on the grand screen but let's go ahead and check it out and see Copyright. So, okay. Original games. Now, mine is formatted a little bit different. But, yeah, we had the original games here that came with it. I tried uploading it before. Okay, there's the retro arc that we added. But I tried adding games before that did not work. I guess the site didn't actually have the data when he downloaded the ROMs. All these games, so Rescue Rangers, and uh, didn't come through. So, I'll go back. There we go, more games. 
So now, this is all the games that we did add. And there we go. 